All right, our super mover. The moment we've all been waiting for, at least she has, the freedom to move. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we are back for the next video in the Train to Tree process, step six. First and foremost, I wanna mention, if you are following along thus far and you run into any hiccups, anything that is not going as we show in the video, reach out to us at patreon.com slash standingstonekennels where we're set up to do live sessions, sessions excuse me, with you where I can be basically over your shoulder watching what's happening and giving you direction on how to continue to move forward. As we've talked about, we want these sessions to be short. This is like a little tongue twister this morning, sessions and all the things. So we're going to do a brief introduction with her or a recap, and then we're gonna move into what step six is, which will be hold and walk. So be a big jump depending on your individual dog. You may need to just say, this is too much. And if you're really struggling with this step, you may need to take a little bit more time to work on hold. We'll evaluate how close I am to being ready as we get rolling. We'll do a quick loop with her. This is okay. Don't put too much emphasis on this if you have a dog that likes to move a lot. She's a little more reserved up here, so come on, babe. Giving her that quick movement, um, it's gonna be important as we continue to roll on. We will do a brief recap here. Kind of to evaluate, hold. Good. Um, is there something that she likes to hold better? And whatever that is, is what we're going to try and use for a hold and walk. So this may be different. If your dog's got a special bumper, hold. Good. This is going really well. Let's move to a big bumper here. Now, just a quick count on this. We've done three reps and we're probably, as far as actual reps go, Good, less than one minute in. Now, she did really well with all of them. I'm gonna pick this one because of the fact that it is what we utilize the most in retrieving sessions. We use the DT System soft mouth trainers available at standingstonesupply.com, um, the large ones. That's what we would train with. This is gonna be slightly easier. We've talked about size being a big factor in how easy or difficult an object can be for a dog. And we're going to move right into our first hold and walk now. I almost made a big mistake there and I want to break this down. Everything, everything that we do needs to be broken into as small steps as possible, even this. Okay, so if I'm going to ask her to walk, she's already facing toward the camera, right? I need her to be facing in the direction that we're going to be moving and you're going to evaluate this with your dog. Sometimes dogs will be more comfortable moving in one way or the other. Use that to your advantage. This is that part of being aware and then being intentional here. We're going to be working on hold and walk and we're prepared to do that. We've got to unclip her. And for video's sake, I'm gonna do this and start this way. This is where the table length becomes very beneficial. We have roughly 16 feet here of length. If you are on an eight foot section, I wanna demo this quick. Come here, babe, right here. Okay, so if we start here, we can go one, two, three, four baby steps maybe before ultimately, come on. She's got to turn around to be able to work back this way and then turn around to be able to work back this way. So you don't get the um, ability to build momentum the same way as you would with, come on, we can move this full distance, right? We've got a lot more chance for movement and momentum to be built. Now, we're gonna start here with a hold and we are only going to ask for one itty bitty tiny little baby step, hold. And we're gonna help her, hold, come on, come on, come on. Uh, 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 uh. She instantly tried to drop her head, tried to almost drop the bumper. That's normal, hold. Good, okay? So as we work through this, we're only gonna be asking for small steps at a time. Now I'm gonna get through here a few reps. Go ahead and just watch, we'll talk as we go. Hold, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, don't ask for more than that. One of the biggest mistakes you could make here is going, all right, let's walk down the table. You're really good at holding stuff. Even if they are, just one or two steps at a time. Come on, come on, come on. Good, come on, good, come on. Nice job. Okay, we're not gonna ask her to turn around with something in her mouth. We're gonna come back down to this end and make another pass. Let's see how she does. 
Challenging is important, but try and grow, um, try and build off of success, right? Come on. Good. A little bit further that time. Good girl. Good. Okay. Come on. We'll do one more loop here, and then we're going to call that it for this session for her. This has been a very successful start to holding and walking tricks. Your age and beauty is showing here, well, age at least, being that you are ready for more advanced stuff, and this thought process is easy. Come on. Hold. Good girl. Hold. Good girl. Okay. That's it. It's a simple session helping her to make progress. We're going to have to do this a lot, and we will show you what that looks like doing simple sessions like this, moving through holding multiple different objects. I'm going to get the next one. All right, our super mover. The moment we've all been waiting for, at least she has, the freedom to move, okay? Super duper duper comfortable moving. This can be as almost a bigger issue when we get up here with this because she's going to try and move too fast. We're going to have to slow her down a lot where even though we were working with tricks on this, helping her to be moving forward, she, we're going to have to try and tame down a little bit. She's going to get overly amped, probably throw the bumper, do all kinds of fun stuff. So we'll work through a few different objects on holding. Hold. Good. That's a great start. Getting better every day. Uh, uh, uh. Hold. Good. Nice job. Right in the eyeball. Thank you, dear. Next one here. Roll these in. We're still not asking for fetch. We're not expecting to grab. All we're doing is putting things in her mouth, making sure her lips are out of the way. Hold. Ah, ah, ah. Hold. Ah, no. Verbal physical correction. Very light grip here saying no at the same time. It says, I'm grumpy. You did it wrong. Don't do it that way again. Hold. Good. So you see the inflection change. We don't need drastic changes, but it needs to be clear. That was wrong and that was good. Let's do those things again. She doesn't need to be overly excited. She doesn't need a big puppy party. Now there will be dogs sometimes that do need more excitement on the top end, but rarely are dogs going to need much more grumpy on the bottom end than what I've already done there. Hold. Ah, 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 ah. Hold. Shh. All right, she's going to continue to need work on holding. She's doing well with it, but she's definitely not doing quite as well as what Trix is. I still want to try this today, and this is going to be a good evaluation for us on if we're moving too fast or asking just a little bit too much out of her. She's obviously comfortable moving. Hold. Hold. Good. I'm going to get her body position in the right direction here. I almost tried to get her to turn right off the bat. That would have been a mistake. Hold. Setting her up for failure instead of trying to help her succeed. Hold. Come on. Hold. Just a step, folks. Hold. Hold. Uh, 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 uh. See you're trying to run away there on me? Hold. Good. Good. Nice job. Let's come back down here. Not too bad, actually better than I expected. Hold. Hold. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. We don't need to get too carried away. Hold. Hold. Good. I'm pulling just a little bit, leading gently. I don't want to put a lot of pressure here because she can end up resisting that, but a little bit of encouragement. Hey, 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 come on, let's go this way. All we're focusing on is the holding portion. We'll try one more little loop here. Hold. 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 Ah, ah, ah. Hold. Good. Nice job. We'll call that the end of this session for her. Again, more reps working on holding where she can actually do full loops 
and turning around will be a big thing to kind of work over, work past, excuse me, but then we need to work through lots of different objects holding and walking. Let's grab the next one. We've got Clay here. He's been our biggest um, issue or taken the most to get used to the walking portion. So I wouldn't be surprised if we struggle a little bit with it today, but I'm guessing that we'll get her figured out. Quick refresher. Hold. Good. Really nice grip out of him. Lots of focus. That's nice. Hold. Hold. Good. And then on to a bigger bumper. Hold. Good. You can see how at this stage, all of the things that we're doing, especially having multiple dogs, how beneficial the table is, as well as having the guide for once we've started the movement portion, you can see that kind of keeps us on a track, makes this process a lot easier than having someone squirrel around down here, or a dog, excuse me, squirreling around at your feet or down by your legs trying to go around and you're getting pulled around in a circle and you're trying to get some walking happening. It can be done, it's been done a lot, this helps. It's one extra piece to simplify the process. Same thing here, let's go this way. And there would be no problem to start here and walk that way, but it's gonna be easier for y'all to see what's happening. Come on, good, get him turned around. Uh, uh, uh. Stop right there. He made a big turn, it's fine. We're only gonna go a few feet here and then we'll get him better set up next time. Come on, come on, hold, come on, good. Clay is a really, really, really nice natural retriever. Hold. Good. Really good hold naturally. He's done a great job this fall. Come on. Now turn all the way around, sir, sir. All right. We'll get started right here. So this comes to very little surprise for me that he's doing a nice job. Hold. Hold. I can feel a little bit of a difference here. Hold. He's got a really good grip, and he seems more reserved. Good. Shock, on the other hand, the, the last dog there, um, ready to you know do her thing. And so we had to take things a little bit simpler with her. He's doing a really nice job. He's more reserved. He's got a good grip. He's just more, you can feel that. And I wish you could be here so I could say, hey, feel this. But it's one of those that I can feel he's got a much better grip on it than what shock shocks like on edge of flipping it and being ready to go shock around so come on more like um tricks tricks did a really nice job with this good turn all the way around come on come on you can see his tail is down a little bit that's the same thing we've been seeing since day one it's just his personality hold a little reserved hold bigger asks here because he's ready for it he's showing that hold good nice job okay that would be all we're going to do with this. His next progression again will be to continue to ask a little bit more, maybe make a loop, and then we'll move into multiple objects. Good job, bud. Off the table, backwards, just like everybody else. Wah! Let's go, Fred. Next up, Sweet Girl Legacy. She had a little bit of an issue moving to begin with, but she settled in nicely. Good girl. Let's do a couple warm-ups from a hold standpoint at this end. Having the ability to clip your dog up once you start movement-based stuff really is helpful. Hold. Good, nice job. Soft mouth trainer again, one of our favorites. Get the gums out of the way. Hold. Good, and then on to a bigger one. She's doing a nice job, but I can feel there's just a little bit softer, a little bit daintier hold here. We'll be able to really solidify this. Hold, hold, good. We'll be able to solidify. So if you're dealing with the specific issue of holding, but not like a firm grip hold, um, we'll be able to fix that during the fetch process. Not something to worry about too much here, as long as they're not just propping their mouth open and letting things fall out. She is holding it, she's just not 
sniff, sniff, sniff in the mic there, babe. Um, she's holding it, just not really firm gripping it, and that's okay. We will be able to work past that. We don't want a crushing grip. Come here, babe. But we do want a good firm grip that we don't have to worry about. Is she gonna drop it? That's going to be more helpful when it comes into things like birds. Hold on to that bird, don't let them go, even if they're crippled. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I cripple a bird. I don't cripple them often, but when I do, I definitely do um, just wing them so they have full legs to run away. Hold. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Hold. Hold. Instantly dropping her head, so we're helping. Hold. When you see a dog drop their head, like the next thing that they want to do is spit the bumper. So hold. We want to keep that head up. Uh, uh, uh. Hold. Every time there. Hold. Good. Good. Come on. Nice job, baby. Hold. Hold. Good grips. I can feel she's doing a better job gripping now. Hold. Uh, uh, uh. She wants to drop that head. Hold. Hold. It's almost like she thinks the table's going to disappear. Good. Let's do one more round here. Nice. Hold. Uh, 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 uh. Hold. 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 Good. I think she could do a little bit more steps wise, but I don't want her to start conditioning that I have to drop my head and walk like that. It's, it's really the first thing that will happen that you're going to run into a lot of dropsy issues. So we do not want that. That's it for today. We'll probably have to do one session, maybe two, but I think she's about with everybody else on ready to kind of continue progressing with that, moving into multiple things. And what you've all been waiting for, El Tesoro's Medicine Man. Standing Stones, El Tesoro Medicine Man Doc has been doing a really, really nice job. Really nice job. Let's do some movement. Good. Happy, confident, comfortable. Nice work. Nice work. Handsy. We're going to have to work on that. Handsy, handsy, handsy. Step one. A little refresher here. Hold. Good. Now, if this type of object is... Nice to see you again, buddy. Um, if this is the type of object your dog's doing best with, use this for the hold and walk portion. On average, slightly larger than this and having the little bit of give or grippies in that um, is going to be a, a really easy thing. Um, we do have and have used in the past fire hose bumpers. I don't have one in here right now. Fire hose bumpers are also a good option, but find something your dog is really comfortable holding on to, and that's what you need to be utilizing for the hold and walk portion. So, hold, hold, good. There's that little grippage. I like it. That should allow us to move right through this portion, and happy, happy, happy to do it. Hold, good, nice job. We'll go back to this. He did fantastic with it. And we'll move him down to the other end of the table to do a couple laps. Good boy. Ooh, big stretches. Again, just asking hold and encouraging the walk. Uh, 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 uh. Hold. Hold. Come on. Hold. Come on. Hold. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Okay. Nice. A little reserved with the walking. He wanted to walk. He would just instantly, and this is again the feel portion. I could feel he was ready to just move, but I didn't want him to do that. And then after I kind of checked him up and said, you know, you only get one step at a time, he was a little more reserved about his walking, which is fine. But I can feel much like Clay. He has and has shown this the whole time through a really good grip on these bumpers. Hold. So we can ask a little bit more, a little faster probably. Hold. I want that head up. Hold. Come on. Hold. Good. Nice job. Let's do one more lap. 
He's doing an absolutely fantastic job. Really, 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 really good hold. Hold. Good. Hold. Hold. Bang stretches still. Hold. Oh, yeah. Hold. Good. That's where we're going to call it for him. He's definitely ready to do more laps. Start trying to make that loop. That will be a big jump. So if you're good going one way, good going the other way, making that turnaround loop can be a tough one. So be prepared for it. Be ready to help. Then we'll move into multiple objects, including birds. After that, we start fetch work. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Doc finishing up step six. We'll see you in the next video.